Hi guys, this is Alex, a Director of Product Management uh, here at Cody, and today I'm happy and pleased to show you the new Bridge 2.0 interface. Uh, the interface that I'm going to show you today uh, will be accessible via bridge.cody.io. And to those of you who are already familiar with the interface, you immediately will notice that we completely redesigned the user interface and the user experience. That's one. Uh, this new user interface is tied to the refactored Bridge 2.0 uh, code. We completely refactored Bridge. So it uh, contains all the improvements in terms of scalability, performance, and exciting new features that I'm going to demonstrate to you right now. So I think it's enough with the introduction. Um, let's jump in and make some uh, swaps. So let's say I want to swap uh, my uh, Quiddy coin. Right, and I'm going to swap it from the Trust Chain uh, to Ethereum uh, network. So we are good here. And in order to do that, I need to input the receiving address on the destination chain. In this case, it's Ethereum. So I'm going to use my MetaMask here. And I'm going to copy the address. I'm going to state the address. Let's say we wish to swap 1,000 um, 1, Cody. What is important to notice here is basically the max amount, as the bridge uh, has um, caps for individual assets. And so the bridge itself has a global cap, a global daily cap, and also an individual cap for uh, basically individual users that wish to uh, use the bridge services. So in my case, I can see that the amount that I wish to swap is under the max amount, so I should be good. I click the get address. Um, the bridge will go and reti retrieve the deposit address that I'm going to use in my wallet in order to um, initiate a transfer. So I'm going to go to my wallet. I'm going to uh, click send and receive. I wish to send it to the bridge deposit address. The amount I wish to send is 1000. And we will click send and we are good right so back to the uh, bridge 2.0 user interface and you can see that uh, we added a monitor button that if we click it we go to the monitor tab and by default the address that we specified as the deposit address is monitored and we are able to see here all the swaps that were initiated uh, using uh, this deposit address so you can see here that I previously have done a few minutes ago uh, some swaps and the bridge monitor uh, immediately detected that we are making a new swap from uh, trust chain to ethereum that's great and let's talk about a little bit about the layout of each individual swap here and what type of data you will be able to see so first of all we have the direction right so we configured the swap uh, from trust chain to erc20 uh, so it's clearly visible here we are swapping a uh, kodi token um, here we have the addresses basically the addresses that are involved in this swap right so we have the bridge deposit address that we just initiated the transfer to we have the transfer address on the erc20 side this is the ethereum address uh, both of those are hyperlinks to the corresponding chain explorer, right? So in our case, it's explorer. In the ERC20 case, it's the etherscan. Right, so moving forward. Um, also, we have a transaction hash, right? So we have the transaction hash on the uh, trust chain side. We will get a transaction hash on the Ethereum side. And we have... Uh, the transaction status on both chains, right? So currently at uh, trust chain side, we just saw that uh, the transaction was confirmed. Uh, the swap status is basically currently in queue. You see it's working really fast, so I'm, I'm pleased to see that. Uh, and we immediately can see that now our swap is on the ERC20 side because we just received the transaction hash for the swap on the receiving blockchain uh, the status there is currently pending so basically what is happening the transaction is confirmed on the erc20 side but we are waiting for 15 blocks uh, to pass 
in order to see this transaction is confirmed. So we will wait. Uh, meanwhile, we are waiting. Let's discuss the amounts, right? So I sent 1,000 uh, Cardi tokens. The estimated receiving amount would be uh, 959.31 uh, tokens. Uh, here is the fee that I paid, um, basically, that includes the transaction fee, the bridge fee, the gas fees, all the fees that I need to pay in order to initiate a swap uh, across multiple networks. And meanwhile, we are waiting for this swap to be confirmed. I'm going to show you what is happening in the Wiper wallet side, right? So day one, when we are going to launch uh, Bridge 2.0, you will go to the Bridge tab and you will see this message basically stating that we are upgrading uh, the necessary uh, UI components in order to support uh, the refactored Bridge 2.0 uh, backend code. So why is this? As you probably know, uh, currently, we have Multidoc 2.0 in testnet. Bridge 2.0 is also in testnet, and now it's going to mainnet. But in order to enable this new interface that we are going to show you in the near future, and all the functionality that we have developed into the wallet itself to make it simple as possible for you to make uh, your swaps, in order for this to happen, we need to move Multidoc 2.0 to mainnet. So as soon as we will have Multidoc 2.0 and Bridge 2.0 both existing in mainnet, uh, here there will be a new user interface that will enable you in a simple manner to perform bidirectional uh, swaps. Uh, you will also be able to uh, submit for refunds for swaps that originated from the trust chain and the destination blockchain is any other chain. Uh, also, you will be able to have a complete history of your swaps, right? With all the addresses that you used across all networks, it will be really great and useful. Uh, so I'm really excited. Um, and I believe we will shoot a video soon that shows you this new functionality. Let's jump back to our bridge interface. And we can see that the swap was confirmed. Right, so it was the transaction was confirmed on the trust chain side. The transaction was confirmed uh, on the ERC twenty side on the destination chain. So basically, this concludes our swap. The swap reached its terminal state, and we can see that the swap is completed. Just to demo you how will it look from the other side, it's straightforward. We will select the asset. We will select from Ethereum to trust chain. On the receiving address, we will basically use our uh, wiper address here, right? So I would say I want to copy my wiper address. I want to add an important note that if you are swapping from Ethereum to Trust Chain and your receiving address is a Hobie Exchange address, you will be required to input your tag ID on the Hobie Exchange. This is important in order to be able to differentiate between you and other Wobi clients. Um, I wish to send 1000 tokens. I'll get my address. Great. I'm able to scan the QR code. I'm using web, so I will copy. All right. I will go to my MetaMask. I'll say I want to send, send some tokens. I will state the address that I receive, the bridge deposit address. Say I wish to, to, to swap 1000. All right, so yeah, let's confirm this transaction. That's it, and we are good. So as soon as this transaction, transaction is confirmed on the Ethereum side, right, you will be able to click the monitor button, monitor the, the entire swap. Uh, also, at any time, you may go to the monitor, just enter any uh, bridge deposit address on your C20 side, on trust chain side, um, and you will be able to see the entire history of swaps that relates to that particular address. Um, so this is it, what I have for you today. Uh, hopefully, shortly, we will uh, do another video and we will show you the new functionality and features that we will enroll as soon as we launch uh, Multidec 2.0 in mainnet. 
uh, initiate the hard fork event, and then everything that we discussed, Multidec 2.0, Explore 2.0, and Bridge 2.0 will coexist in our mainnet, and you will be able to enjoy uh, this entire range of new functionality, improved performance, reliability. So thank you for listening, and as always, stay cutting.